Hello, hello, and welcome back to my garage. We are back already, and uh, yeah, it's time to get this puppy up and running, operational, and all of the like. Uh, so we're going to test something out real quick because I don't know. We're going to go ahead and sleep. Oh, yep, so the place does close at night, indeed. Uh, so we won't be able to be inside while, you know, doing the stuff. But it does appear that uh, it's f everything's fine inside of there, except for that steering wheel. Can you see that steering wheel? Uh, but yeah, everything seems to be okay inside there uh, when it closes. Okay, so that is good to know. That was one of my main concerns. Um, it was it was what would happen at nighttime. Anyway, let's go ahead and open shop again. There we go. And as long as we have cars out here, and then we always have that couch over there, uh, everything should be fine as far as uh, sleeping and all of that goes. You know what I mean? Of course you do. Of course you guys do. Anyway, there we go. You know, I was also thinking, um, well, I'm going to try to learn how to mod so we can get in here, but we could always build a car inside of here as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if that would be fun or not, but hey, I mean, it'd pretty much be screwed at that point. Anyway, 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 we have a lot to do today. Uh, we want to get this thing up to par or actually above par. Uh, we need to get all this stuff put away and do a lot of a lot of stuff. So what are we going to be doing, you may ask? Well, first off, we're going to head over to the good old store over there, uh, the warehouse, the Lowe's, the Home Depot, the hardware store. And we're going to pick up uh, we're going to have to pick up some stuff because. Well, a lot of reasons, but we need to make uh, some shelving, basically, for uh, all of our car pa uh, car parts, our panels and stuff. Um, I don't want the car panels uh, to be just kind of like the fenders and all that, doors and all that, to just be laying on the floor, and they're not quite the right size for a shelf. Uh, so we're just going to come over here to the store. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I was trying to slam on the brakes, so it's quite interesting, actually, if you think about it. These cars, um, now, when we think about the Wolf, the Wolf does have an ABS module, I believe, right? Doesn't it? Uh, but these does not have ABS. Uh, I don't know. This is just a brake master cylinder. I don't think it's ABS anyway. Uh, yeah, because you would think if you slammed on your brakes uh, without ABS... Those puppies would lock up. Anyway, let's turn our light on in here. So we're going to be going and grabbing some of these material uh, boxes. Yep. Uh, we're going to need some of these ones as well. Now let's get these loaded up first. Um, how much were these, by the way? 500 a piece. Uh, so yeah, we're going to spend a couple thousand on these. We're starting to run out of money once again. Uh, we do have those cars that we need to start building. Um, but those cars are our personal cars. Uh, so I am kind of afraid once we start actually working on those, it's going to bleed us dry. Uh, and then we'd actually have to sell one. So I want to play it smart. Uh, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to actually try to make some money uh, before we do that. So what do we got? Two of those. These are going to be for our lights. Uh, we need to get a lot more lighting inside of there. Uh, that should be good for that. Now, as far as the building supplies goes, uh, I think I'm going to grab just two more boxes. Yep. So this would be a little $3,000 upgrade for the shop. Uh, we're going to add some shelving uh, and stuff like that. And I'm hoping it's going to turn out good. We'll see. Uh, you know, uh, you know, I mean, I have a, a few projects already that I never finished, like the junkyard project and then the one across from our old shop. Uh, never quite got them finished, but, you know. You know, you know how it is. Well, maybe you don't. I don't know. You guys probably start something and complete it. Uh, I am not that kind of guy, unfortunately. Anyway, reverse. There we go. Okay. Let's go. Okay. Okay, stay on the road. Crazy man. Okay, there we go. We're... We got this. We got this. This is how I drive in real life, by the way. Uh, just kidding. Maybe not. I don't know. Anyway, the wife, whenever she sees my videos, uh, if I'm playing it or something of this game, uh, she'll be like, oh my god, that's how you drive in real life. So, <laughs> there might be some truth to it. Anyway, I mean, I, I, I abide the laws. What am I talking about? No, no, no. I abide all of the laws. Okay, anyway, uh, so here's 
the light switches. We're going to have to get that. We're going to have to probably build some scaffolding and stuff in here. Um, I don't know if I wanted to make this like a building day, like with everybody, or if I just wanted to do some like quick builds. Uh, you know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know. I'm kind of torn on the idea. Uh, it seems like uh, there's a good reception uh, during the building videos. So I don't know. Maybe we'll just keep you guys all along for the journey and just cut out some of the longer uninteresting bits but i was originally just gonna do like uh be like okay let's go ahead and build this wall and then it'd be done uh but you know what i think i'm gonna go ahead and uh i think i'll let you guys along on the journey here yeah yeah, yeah. i think that will be good uh i will skip like cleaning up the mess and stuff uh we're gonna get this kind of organized and all of that so first things first though uh we are going to go ahead and organize this mess a little bit uh, so let's just hop out here and let's get this kind of organized up a bit. Okay, okay. So I went ahead and just built it anyway. Uh, wasn't sure what I was going to do. I was going to try to separate everything by car brand, but that seemed a little bit ridiculous. I wouldn't have enough space for it. So I kind of tried to group stuff together, like all the bumps or bumpers, the roofs, uh, trim, brakes, mufflers, transmissions, and such. Uh, floor panels and all of that. Normally we wouldn't have this much floor panels, uh, but that's because we basically disassembled, disassembled a complete lad uh, body panels and all of that. So yeah, yeah, and that kind of works out, I think. I think it looks fine. Um, we could go up another level, uh, but I think if we do that, we're probably going to have to extend another big platform on the next one and then have some steps going up to it uh, so then we can uh, actually walk up onto that platform and throw in a couple more shelves. Anyway, anyway, I did add lights too, uh, just here in or there, above and or around the lifts. Uh, so if we turn this one on, it should light up the car quite a bit more. As you can see, uh, we get a lot more lighting inside of the vehicle. Uh, you know what I mean? Look at the engine now, see how much brighter that is. And if we turn it off, uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's still not the darkest thing in the world, but uh, it definitely makes the difference, I think. Anyway, uh, we got that one on, that one, this one here as well. Uh, so yeah, yeah. Anyway, I think that works out pretty well. I was trying to bring this puppy up in here, but I, I actually couldn't. Uh, so anyway, anyway, um, I think we're ready to start working on cars once again. Now, the first thing that we're going to start working on, of course, uh, it's not going to be these. I thought about building these. Um, but if we get these up to par, these are meant to be our own. Uh, so if we get these up to par, we're basically going to be broke. So anyway, let me know what you guys think. I think that looks pretty cool, right? Uh, so what we're going to do, the first thing that we're going to do, um, is we're going to fix the damn truck. And why is the truck, uh, all up against that? Anyway, yeah, we're going to fix the truck and get it up to par, uh, because we need to start making some money. So we're going to start doing some repairs uh, oh my god, we're gonna get the hammer out and try to fix this up a little bit. Anyway, we're gonna do some repairs on some new cars. Uh, or actually, we're gonna buy a new car to repair and flip. Uh, so anyway, let's get this thing started. Or not, or not. Did I break it? I must have broke it last episode. Well, I'll be damned. I will literally be, uh, damned. Get the hell out of here. What are you doing, bruh? This thing's not supposed to be like that. Anyway, what's going on with this engine? Hmm, I mean, it's not the battery. Why? I mean, yes, the battery's jack, jacked, but it's still uh, kicking over, so it's... Not, oh, look. No, those are brake lines. Uh, yeah, I mean, we could definitely do some brake lines. Um, let's check the oil, I suppose. Oil's fine. Okay. Coolant is fine. Uh, it looks a little bit low, but I think that's from wrecking it, possibly. I don't know. I don't know. Who knows why this thing ain't starting crap. Uh, let's just kind of get it pushed back a bit. Or not. Or not. Um, we're going to have to probably Flintstone this thing. Let's go ahead and pull it out. Okay. Okay. Let's try to start it once again. Uh, sit down. Oh, we're out of fuel. I forgot. We ran out of gas. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We totally did run out of fuel. Okay. Uh, and we don't have any fuel. Dang it. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Uh, so what I wanted to do though, was to head back into town and um, uh, 
uh, buy a car from the used car lot and do a quick flip on it uh, so we could just start making some cash but we're not quite ready for that uh, and i believe we used all the gasoline inside of our tank right our little fuel fuel can uh, yeah we must have because it's not here anymore okay well shite that means a lot that means a lot so i guess we could search these cars real quick uh see if they have any fuel in them this one i mean it might let's find a wrench real quick here and uh drop these off yeah we'll go ahead and see if we can get some gas out of any of these tanks that we have up here uh let's see where's a wrench at not there not there maybe over here uh let's see uh, yeah, we have one right here. Okay, let's pull off this tank. Uh, let's see if we can get some gas out of this and uh, put it into that good old truck over there. Uh, yep, there we go. And yeah, this will probably just have to do. Uh, we should tilt it a little bit to see if it's even have if it even has fuel in it. Uh, but it's okay. It's okay. Let's just okay. That's probably not the best place to put that. Uh, actually, let's pocket that. Okay. Let's take this off. Uh, we're just going to stick it up here on the... Okay. Oh, Jesus. Okay, there it is. There it is. I found it. Uh, okay, it's going to say hopefully it doesn't clip through. Anyway, let's take off this one. Uh, and then we are going to pick it up like so. And stand up. And let's tilt this bad boy. See if it leaks. Oh, I don't see any fuel coming out of it. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Uh, we're gonna have to come around this side actually let's do it again and let's find out ah uh, damn there was no fuel in here crap 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 okay that means we're gonna have to try it on the other uh car okay fair enough let's put this back on and uh take it back over here uh we'll just stick it in the trunk for now we'll go check that other car see if it has any gas oops i mean i guess that works let's just tighten it up i guess uh, I was just trying to throw it into the trunk, but that's okay. Uh, tight, tight, tight. And then let's check that other car out. Uh, there we go. See if this has a fuel tank or not. It does not. It does not. Okay. Well, it's not all, uh, it's not all bad. We could definitely pull the gas tank off of our Jesse. Yeah, yeah. Let's just pull it off of the Jesse. We'll use the Jesse fuel. It's fine. I mean... Yeah, no, it's fine. It's fine. I was going to say we could take the Jesse, but no. Yeah, let's go and grab these. But yeah, what I want to do is um, go ahead and go uptown because it. you might be thinking it's better to make money from like a junkyard car or something, uh, but it's not. It's not. I mean, it may seem that way because you buy it so cheap and you sell it for so much more. Uh, but when you start taking into account of the amount of time that it takes to... Uh, Okay, let's see if we can get this without it. Okay, apparently I'm angling it wrong. Oh, there it goes. It's filling. You can see it. Anyway, uh, if you take into the amount of time it takes to build a junkyard car, uh, it's not really worth it. It takes forever. Okay, that's done. Let's go put this back on the Jesse. Uh, but if we could buy one from the good old used car lot, we don't have that much to do to repair it. You know what I mean? It won't take that long, so that's what we're going to do. Now, this thing's empty. We're going to have to find our gas can uh, and take that with us, so when we're out and about, uh, we can go ahead and get that filled up. But anyway, let's get this on. There we go, and let's pull that. Let's go ahead and bag that. Let's go ahead and pull that truck into the bay, get it fixed up a little bit, and then we'll head up north. Um, I mean, it's not actually north. It's south. We'll head down south and grab grab a car anyway anyway this thing should start now we should have plenty of fuel in here uh it, it was pouring for quite some time so let's see uh, sit down oh yeah look we are over a half a tank okay get it started there we go slow it into first uh and release the brake nope it was already released okay here we go let's go ahead and pull it into spot uh we'll go ahead and pull it out through this angle or this view yeah, check it out. We got a flat tire over here. A bad, uh, we don't even have all the tires. Crap. We're not going to be able to do it. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Uh, we could at least get this up here. Uh, we might be able to swap it out with some regular tires. We'll see. Okay, let's see if we can... Okay, we stalled it. We stalled it. Let's see if we can get it up here. Come on, babe. 
maybe okay there we go there we go there we go yep there's a will there is a damn way now uh, we just need to pull it up just a bit further slowly pull out the clutch and that should be good that should be fantastic uh yeah yeah we might have to change the hubs out uh we're gonna see if we can put some regular tires on this thing just like this one over here you know what i mean anyway let's get this all set up we're gonna go ahead and pull these out there we go uh and there we go fantastic uh actually we should probably just go ahead and stick it underneath right away like so okay let's go ahead and see if they're even uh this one not so much hold on get her head under and pull there we go let's see this side nope uh, let's go and bring it back and that looks good let's go ahead and head over to the other side do the exact same thing uh yeah we might have to see i don't know about these back tires i don't know if we could put regular tires on here or not or if we have to have the dualies uh we'll find out i guess uh, i do like the dualies like, sim simply for the fact that they do explode um i kind of wish the regular tires did that and does that look good does it look good uh it looks a little bit in far okay does that look better okay i think that looks fine okay let's see if that's even enough uh let's lift it up and get these tires off off there we go oh yeah check it out we got this we got this okay pull out the wrench and let's get the tires off uh yeah we definitely mangled this one i mean that was the goal and uh we did indeed accomplish that goal there we go uh yank this puppy off slap it down let's grab this other back side two three yeah it's pretty exciting to have a shop once again uh it took us a little bit of time to get uh, up down here uh this is what the fourth video so it took us three videos to basically get everything down there we go okay this looks good uh you know i don't know what that other shop across the street sells i know they have a bunch of performance parts on the counters and stuff over here uh, but i don't know if they sell tires you know what I mean? Anyway, anyway, let's see here. Okay. So we're going to have to pull off the brakes. Otherwise, we're not going to be able to get these hubs off. Uh, so we'll take the brakes off first. Go ahead and start with the front here. One, two. Oops, easy. Just fall. It's fine. Fall off. There you go. There you go. Okay, now we should be able to get this hub off. There she is. Set it down. And then let's do the same with the back brakes and hubs. Uh, we'll start with the brakes first and then we will check the pads as well uh, before we head over to the good old uh, gas station okay this is still got the hub caps on uh, but let's get this brake first and then we'll grab the pry tool uh, so we can pull that off i should have my toolbox over here i suppose uh, but yeah yeah i'm digging it i'm digging it we have the shop um now knowing my luck good old viking he's probably gonna have something in the update where uh either you can't do this or something that's gonna screw it all up which i'm fine with do it up bro do it up man screw me over i don't care uh i enjoy playing the game in every af at uh every freaking way possible so if we have to move we have to move that's fine but uh it's pretty cool it's pretty cool yeah it would be kind of cool if we could own this actually at some point you know what i mean make it a purchasable building I mean, I don't know how much you would sell this thing for, but 100 grand maybe? I don't know. Anyway, anyway, uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and grab our wrench again. Pull off these hubs. Uh, oh, this one doesn't have a bolt. Oh, that's right. These hubs are different. Okay, okay. That's right. That's right. Um, so how do we get these off? Let's see. Hold on a second here that's for the brake caliper i can see it turning green back there right yeah 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 not the caliper i meant to say the rotor uh this one does it not even okay i see the green hold on hold on pull that off oh i pulled the bed off by the way did i pull the bed off son of a bastard how did i pull this off with the freaking pry tool i thought this thing bolted in well it does bolt in look oh i didn't think you just pull it off with the pry tool though anyway anyway how do we get this off now we have to come back here with the wrench and unscrew that all the way i'm not too sure i don't think so right maybe maybe let's grab our wrench uh, let's find out 
Here we go. Yeah, so it's a little bit cheaty, right? Coming down here and stealing this place, but hey, it's a game mechanic. Uh, we are going to be, we're doing it. We are doing it. Um, like I said, it, I wouldn't be surprised if this would change at some point in the future uh, with an update. Okay, is this all one piece? I don't even know. Let's see. Rear hub. A dually rear hub. Yeah, I think it is. I don't think this comes apart. Okay, uh, let's set this over here. Let's grab that other one. And then we're going to see if we could put regular hubs in here. I don't know. Uh, that's a great question. I don't have an answer for, uh, but we are going to, in fact, find out. Let's go ahead and come to this side, grab this one off. There we go. And pull it off. Okay, fantastic. Okay, you know what? I think I have some hubs lying around. Uh, they should be over here in the regular part room. What is this for? This is for a NIV. Now, the NIV is compatible, a lot of the parts, but... This is not, this is not compatible. Okay, not a problem. Uh, let's see if we have any more in here. See if it's actually the same one. It is, and I think that's it. Oh, no, here's another one. This is for a BART. Now, I'm going to assume, oh, no, this is not for a BART. This is also uh, the exact same damn thing. Yeah, yeah, I got three of those apparently. Okay, let's just scooch our feet through this real quick. See if we can push some of these parts out of the way. Okay, we need to find a different rear hub. Let's head over to the store. Um, now, we don't really need rear dually hubs. Uh, we can reuse these, uh, but we do need, well, we're going to need a rim and at least a set of tires. Uh, but we will need a front uh, hub. What do we have? A five bolt? Let's see if we have one of these back here. I'm pretty sure I do. Uh, right here's a five bolt. Says the Chad Bart Jesse. I think we need one that is built for the Niv. Uh, this is this is for the Niv, but it's a four bolt. I don't think that is going to work. Uh, there's some more under here. Let's see if we can scooch this stuff out of the way. Uh, what is this? Another four bolt for the Niv. Okay. Uh, what else do we got in here? Yeah, obviously I didn't put this stuff up on the shelves yet. So yeah, yeah. Anyway, let's see if this one works. I'm pretty positive it does not. No. It doesn't. I'm pretty sure we need one for a NIV. Uh, I don't think this four bolt for the NIV is going to work either, uh, but we'll try. Oh, it does. <laughs> oh, man. It's actually kind of funny. I don't want to... Wait, is this a four bolt? No, it's a five bolt. Okay. Let's just go grab a five bolt pattern for this thing. Uh, actually, we have more in here. What is this? This is a five bolt. That's uh, for Jesse, though. What about this? This is just a rotor. Uh, rotor flywheel rotor uh that's a rotor uh rotor rotor uh rotor road who road her oh uh jesse bart okay okay who rotor not i anyway let's head up to well the store's just right around the corner there let's see what this place sells hopefully it sells the tires and stuff i doubt it uh but we'll see we'll see uh, but we need a NIV 5 bolt. Uh, throw it into first and release that brake. Okay. Yep, we're right. Uh, there's something out there in the road, by the way. Okay, there we go. Let's just pull into the, not the parking lot. Uh, we're going to just pull into the front of the building here. Let's get turned around. There we go. There we go. Pop it up onto the curb a little bit since he doesn't have a... Uh, front parking here anyway let's go inside hey k paso bro the cheapest performance parts in time i know that's what i've heard but it's all a lie anyway let's see what he got in here so these are all the performance parts i don't know if these sell for cheaper than the catalog or not um i'll have to kind of look at that but okay so he does sell all the tires that's great um does he sell all of them though no he doesn't so viking didn't get around to putting these down here yet okay okay I mean, that's not a problem. That's not a problem. Anyway, uh, we will go ahead and grab a tire. F oh, do we have the tire machine? We do. We do. Um, maybe when we go to town for the dullies, uh, we'll go ahead and grab some tires from our shop. But anyway, let's look at the NIV. Let's go to suspension. Uh, here is a four bolt rear hub. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's switch it to the 350 real quick. And let's see what other uh, components they sell here. So he has the dually hub, the dually front hub. Okay, it doesn't say anything 
He doesn't have anything but the dually parts. Okay, we got to switch it back to the Niv then. Yeah, because we have this on the truck right now. And then let's go ahead and buy... I mean, we'll just buy one of those for now. Um, okay, I forgot you can't pocket these for some reason. I could pocket the big one, but not these ones. Okay, set that in there. Let's head over, see if these fit, and then I think we will take a run to the old garage. And uh, yeah, I guess it would have made sense. I should have brought some of those tires with me. I don't know what I was thinking. Anyway, it's fine. Let's go. Yeah, boy. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, whatever. Get out of here. What are you doing? Stop it. Okay. Okay, let's grab this. Actually, I need to stand up first and then grab this. And then this should just go right on. Yep, there it is. Uh, do we have the wrench on us? Nope, it's right here. Now, I'm not sure if these... Yeah, because look, if we look at this real quick, it says it's good for the F100. Uh, we don't have the 100. We have the, uh, the 350, but here we go. And then let's see if this fits. I'm not confident, but hopefully. No, I didn't think so. Okay. Yep. No, that kind of sucks. Uh, yeah, that does kind of suck. So we are going to have to put dualies on. Uh, we don't really have a choice on that. So we have to go up to uh, the mod shop and grab two dualies plus one rim. Um, this rim seems to be fine. Yep. And then we are going to stop at the house and grab uh, a new tire for the front up here. Um, yeah, we'll just bring down a couple of them. These ones have these little circles, so uh, we'll try to remember. Actually, you know what? One of these cars might actually have that already. Uh, let's take a look. Nope, this one has the little five spokes. And yeah, yeah, five spokes. Okay, not a problem. Uh, we're going to take the wrench. I don't think we're going to need it. But let's head up there, and then while we're up there, we're just going to go ahead and buy a car. Um, should I just hook it up to that trailer and bring it back that way? Yeah, we might as well. We might as well. So then when we start the next episode, we'll have that car already down here. Uh, let's sleep real quick. There we go. There we go. Let's go ahead and head back up to the small island. Oh, you know what? Hold on. Hold on. We have some tires over here. Uh, what do we have? What do we have? Oh, this is... Okay, this is a front dually. Okay, we're not putting dualies on. Yeah, yeah, no, not on the front. Okay, okay, anyway, let's go. Let's go grab the dualies and all of that. Um, I think I'm going to take a trailer just in case. Uh, just in case I need one. Yeah, let's go ahead and grab this one here. Oh, or just a little bit. Yeah, because I, I might just go ahead and grab all the tires while we're up there and all the rims and stuff. Okay, the car wasn't stopping, by the way. Uh, I think it's just a NIV problem, but let's go ahead and get this hooked up. I forgot we still had this hooked on. Let's just go ahead and bag that real quick. There we go. I don't think there's anything in here. No, it's fine. We're going to take this. And uh, yeah, yeah. Do you guys want to come along for the ride? Or uh, should I just go ahead and skip on up there? Uh, let's just skip up there. Okay, okay. So uh, we're getting a little bit low on fuel down here. Um, I thought about getting gas once we get up to the shop. Uh, but I don't know. I don't know if we would make it. So we're just going to get some fuel. And of course, I don't remember which side this is on. Um, I think it's on the passenger side. Let's just pull in here. Um, and I don't remember which one is gasoline. Uh, go ahead and kill it. Go ahead and kill it. Okay, kill it, you bastard. What are you doing? I don't know why this car doesn't like to stop. Anyway, anyway, I was right. I was right. Uh, yeah, yeah. So which one's gasoline? They both have the same fuels. I think green. Okay, okay. It's it's the one back there. Uh, we're going to have to back it up just a bit. Okay, okay. Uh, we'll just push it. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, I should have put the brake on. Uh, not going to lie. I should have put the brake on. There we go. Get it in there. It's good. Hit the brake. Okay, there we go. There we go. Yeah, let's go and fill this thing up real quick. Uh, yep, pull this off. There we go. And then grab it. There we go. Yeah, wait, 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 wait. Wait. Oh, crap. I was right. Okay, I was right. Damn it. I forgot. I don't know why. I, I know green is goddamn gasoline, uh, but I still freaking moved back there anyway. 
I'm just so it's so instilled in my head that yeah there we go I'm so it's still so instilled into my head that uh, green is uh, diesel anyway let's fill this thing up um, we're gonna fill up our little tank in there as well our little gas can as it was uh, so we could take that back and put it back into the Jesse uh, but let's see let's see it's gonna stop any second there we go there we go started flashing uh stick it up there yep it prepays for us there we go stand up and let's get this thing out oops let's get this thing out and get it filled up real quick nope nope fool what you doing what you doing there we go there we go uh let's open the container there we go and easy pal wait hold on there we go all right, that is full now. It's going to drop that, close it, and stick it back in. Okay, fantastic. Close that. Um, is there anything we need from here? I don't think so. No, we don't need jack, bro. Okay, let's get going. Uh, we'll go ahead and shut that door, and uh, we'll head back up to the old garage, as it was. All right, all right. We're almost back to the shop here. Uh, we're just going to get pulled in here. Uh, there's a tire. Uh, actually, there's a few things. And uh, genius me, I freaking grabbed the wrong trailer, by the way. Uh, this is not the trailer that I wanted. I, I think I wanted to grab the tow trailer so we could grab a car uh, while we're here. But whatever, it's fine. Uh, let's just go ahead and get parked here. Hit that brake. There we go. And we are going to go ahead and... Uh, well, I should have left the damn garage open, I guess. Anyway, it's fine. Uh, we're going to go ahead and grab some tires and get them loaded up. Um, I don't know which... I don't know if I should just grab them all. I mean, probably. This doesn't match the one that's up there, but we're going to just... I think we're just going to go ahead and grab them all. Or at least a lot of them, right? Might as well. Might as well. Might as well try to bog down our system even more down there. Uh, these are five stars. Okay. And then what else do we got? I want to try to find one that matches. Okay, it's probably over there. Uh, the one that we currently have. I mean, we could put any tires on. They don't have to match. Doesn't really, really matter. Yeah, this is the one that we have on the uh, F-350 right now. Except for, obviously, it doesn't have a bald tire. Anyway, there we go. You know what? Let me go ahead and just get the rest of this. And uh, we'll be right back. Okay, okay. Got them all loaded. The rest of the stuff in here is all bald tires so we're not going to worry about any of that stuff uh but let's go ahead and close this down or not or not okay run under run under it okay there we go and yeah we got quite a few in here uh yeah check it out check it out okay fantastic uh, before we do that we're going to come over to this shop real quick see if there's a car worth buying uh today or right now rather okay okay well there is there is look at this butte man oh yeah yeah we have a lot of these parts too. Let's take a look at it. Uh huh. Okay, looking good. Is there any uh, rotted body or uh, floor panels? I don't see any rotted floor panels, but we do have roofs for this. Um, I think we have some doors. Uh, so how much is this worth? Forty four hundred. Yeah, yeah. I like it. I like it. Um, I think we're just gonna go ahead and buy it. I think we're gonna go ahead and buy it. We could do some basically some quick repairs on that thing and make a good amount of money. This is 14. Uh, we could actually probably make a decent amount on that as well. And what was I thinking? I don't know why I got it stuck in my head that uh, I can only take cars by towing them myself, um, but that's not the case. I can actually just ship them. So we're gonna ship it. We are in fact going to ship it uh, to the customer sign for $100 redos. Uh, let's look at the engine first though, hold on. Okay, it looks beautiful. Okay, yeah, let's go ahead and ship this puppy down there. Bada bing, bada boom. Yeah, I don't know why. I always think I have to, like, tow. Uh, it's got it. It's been stuck in my head for a while. Anyway, it's fine. It's fine. Okay, well, now down to the mod shop. Down to the mod shop uh, so we can grab our dualies. And uh, we do need to get one rear dually rim. So we're going to go ahead and grab that as well. Okay, the tires are doing fine. Uh, ignore the uh, glitching anyway let's go let's go get on the right side of the street fool and I still haven't turned on my traffic I keep forgetting one of these days I'm going to go ahead and do a test 
with traffic and uh, we're gonna just crank the traffic to its max I know the thing says uh, it only recommends doing it so much you know what let's zoom out real quick okay easy easy um, why because I don't remember exactly where but I think somewhere down by that lighthouse sometimes cars spawn um, I know up by this other house is another location and then somewhere inland or over by the garage I think is the other location I actually found a map here watch I'll put it up right now screenshot it if you need to but this will show you exactly where everything is located hopefully uh, I'm, a, it's, I'm allowed to share this but anyway uh, let's see let's see okay so I didn't see that other house I think that was on another road anyway yeah the abandoned cars let's go ahead and make our left here and let's get down let's get down here and uh, get our dualies yeah yes 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 okay uh, but yeah I think the way it works though uh, from what that says is every time you load a game there's gonna be at least one okay easy easy one car at any of those abandoned spots and this is what one of you guys told me too in the comments uh, anyway here we are oh look oh cool some of the stuff spawned in okay okay let's get stopped turn it off yep I installed some extra mods by the way uh, furniture mods and such okay okay first things first uh, do we want mudded tires or do we just want standard how much are the difference 122 150 dually off-road uh, left and right I don't know should we get the off-road tires screw it I think we will I think we will let's get a left let's get a right and then we need one set of uh, new rims now it's gonna look kind of silly without the fronts being dualies uh, or these should we get them we could get the mud tires later it's fine mud tires later it's fine it's fine anyway Ah, uh, check it out. We could buy shelving and stuff. I didn't know this was part of the thing. Ah, oh, dude, yes. Traffic barriers and cones. I could set up like, um, what are they called? Like little um. Drive test driving freaking maneuver freaking things. Anyway, where you could like back up and drive through them. Anyway, how much are those? Fifty bucks. Good lord. Hey, I have one of these that looks almost identical to that. Uh, do they work? That's the question. Okay. Okay. Whoa. 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 There's the cork board uh, I was wanting. What? I wonder if you'd actually attach tools to the back of that. Okay. Oh, dude. This is really nice shelving as well. I dig that. Okay. Okay. Workshop table. Cute. Freaking tire rack. Yes, yes. We're definitely going to buy that right now, I think. Uh, shoe shelf. Oh. Oh, wait. Let's talk about brake shoes. Oh, my God more shelves more okay 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 let's get this thing first uh, we're gonna buy a tire rack 100 where the hell's the catalog book though i th i thought i installed the catalog uh table i don't know i'll have to see oh i think that might be it way the hell over there anyway anyway let's go ahead and buy one of these i'm curious to see how that works um i don't know what this means shoe shelf i'm assuming shoes like brake shoes like for the rotors and all that stuff uh 300 bucks a little expensive i think we're gonna buy it though okay i'm digging a lot of this uh stuff here um should we get a couple cones why not why not i don't know if there's a reason not to or not anyway uh here is the table is this the catalog table parts and jobs table it is oh my god look at all my stuff stacked up over there uh should we buy one of these should we oh it doesn't want to buy where's my money okay i thought i kept buying it okay maybe it's too packed up over here anyway uh let's go ahead and get this all loaded up i guess uh i'm kind of parked far should we just pull it in yeah we're just gonna pull the whole trailer in i think that'll make a little bit more sense uh instead of walking it i wish this thing opened by the way uh, that would be excellent. I'll have to see if there's a button in there. I don't think there is, though. Anyway, let's go ahead and uh, pull this thing into the old uh, mod shop as it was, right? Yes, 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 yes. Let's sit down. Reverse. Uh, no break. Okay. Okay. 
I think we're gonna be okay. I think we're gonna be okay. Let's get this in here. Oh, dude. Oh my god. I never thought about it. I should see if uh, those dually parts can fit on this freaking Niv. I never even thought about it. Oh, dude. We could put off road tires. Anyway, anyway, let's go ahead and uh, swing this puppy around uh, without jackknifing it or screwing things up. And there we go. Okay, that looks good. Stop. And uh, let's load this thing up real quick. Uh, open it up. Yeah, it's fine. Is it fine? I think it's going to be just fine. Okay. Oh, dude, I didn't bring my move tool. Are you joking me? Uh, okay. I don't know if we're going to be able to grab all those shelves now. Crap. Oh, I didn't even think about the damn move tool. Okay. Anyway. Anyway, let's get the tires. It's the most important. Uh, the dually rim. Yep. Uh, let's grab this tire. Uh-huh. There we go. In fact, I changed my mind. We are going to buy... Uh, we are going to buy these tires. Uh, yeah, yeah, we're going to do it. This one, this one. I think we need one more of these. So we're going to grab it just to be safe. And then, yeah, we're going to see if this Niv can uh, use these parts. That would be pretty awesome, actually. Let's go and get these in there. Um, I can't believe I forgot the move tool. Uh, I might just run up to the shop real quick and grab a move tool. Um, I kind of wish this mod shop sold parts. Oh, there's a move tool right here. Excellent. Oh, thank God. Somebody was thinking ahead of time. Fantastic. G good job, whoever you were. Um, let's go ahead. We'll just slap this puppy in here. I think it's going to be fine. Uh, it's not. It's not. Uh, we're going to have to move some of these tires out of the way, I think. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We could do this. We could do this. Get out of there. Okay, not like that. That's fine, though. Is it fine? Yeah, it's fine. That's fine. Okay. Uh, get out of the way, fool. Uh, let's load that back there. Okay. <laughs> Okay, we got a lot of uh, tires here. Anyway, um, I wonder if I needed the other bench or the other trailer. Oh, damn it. Okay, uh, we might have to move these even further back and then try to lay this in there on its side. I didn't realize how uh, tall it was, by the way. Does this stick up on there? No, it doesn't. But, you know, you know how the Niv... Um, did I show you guys? Oh my god, I have to show you guys something here. Hold on. Uh, let's go and lay this thing down real quick. Let's see how wide this thing is, by the way. Let's see. Is it going to fit in here like this? Oof. No, it's not, is it? Oof. Oh man, I brought the wrong trailer. No. This is not going to fit any which way we put it. Um, I guess we're just going to have to let it glitch itself out. Hopefully it'll stay in there. Uh, I guess we could tilt it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look, look, we could tilt this thing a little bit. Uh, tilt it backwards like this. And doesn't quite fit that way. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, I think we uh, break in stuff here. Uh, let's go ahead and do it like this. Yeah, yeah, that looks like it's going to fit just fine. <laughs> Crap, we lost it off the thing. Anyway, anyway, let's get the damn tire rack in here. Um, should we fit this into the car? Good no, God, no, this thing's huge. But uh, whatever. We're just going to have to, like, break everything. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, we'll see if it works or not. I don't know. I don't know. We're just going to slide it in there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's, it should be fine, right? Let's close the door. I mean, it looks fine, right? Anyway, uh, did you guys know you could do this? No, don't. don't not that. Hold on. Look, did you know about this? You could stick three tools back here. Uh, not the move tool, because it's a, it's a janker. Uh, but anyway, a janker. It's janky. Uh, let's go and get this on, and let's see. Okay, I think this is going to work. This is going to work. Yeah, let's get back to the house. Uh, we're already wasting plenty of time here. Uh, let's get this thing started back up, and let's hope that we can make it without any uh, real, real problems here. Let's get it turned over and out the door we go. Okay, don't uh, don't hit the walls. We got it. We got it. Okay, we do. We're actually gonna head this way, by the way. And is that something out there? I think it is, but we're not gonna worry about it. Let's go ahead and uh, zoom out. Okay. I don't think we lost anything. Okay, okay, okay. Well, I'm pretty excited to get all this stuff set up. But anyway, did you see how I put that wrench in the back of my Niv? Uh. I wonder if the cork board does that same thing. You know, I don't know. I don't know. Which way should we go back home? Uh, I kind of wanted to cruise through here real quick. 
and see if we could find another abandoned car. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the place with all of that. Okay. I don't think there's anything in that garage, but there might be. Uh, let's continue back through here. Yeah, we're not going to be close enough to the old, uh... the old junkyard to see if that abandoned car is over there, but there's supposed to be one right by the garage up here. Not this garage. That's our old garage, which we do have. Okay, easy, easy. We do have um, something in there that we could take, but my, my trailer is a bit full right now, so uh, we're not going to worry about it quite yet. We'll have to take a drive up here at some other point, uh, but let's go ahead and turn here. Easy, easy. Okay, we got this, we got this. Oh look, is that that piston? Look at that, look at that. Oh my god, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Look at this. Look at that. This piston, I don't know if you guys remember, or any of you remember, but this piston, I'd freaking lost it back in like episode... I don't know, actually. Episode 10, maybe? The 410? I don't know. It was a really, really early episode. Episode 3? Anyway, uh, my engine blew. And yeah, a thing freaking launched. Uh, okay, okay. Anything over here we can collect? I don't think so. Um, so I think there's like a dirt road somewhere around here. Um, right up through there. You see that dirt road up there? You do? Uh, I think a car does in fact spawn back there. Yeah, yeah, that's one of the abandoned car spots. Um, should we go look? Let's just go look. I keep thinking that I need my trailer uh, to do that, uh, but I don't. I don't. I could just ship the damn thing, uh, paying 100 bucks or 500 bucks to tow it. Anyway, yeah, this is the dirt road, I think. I think uh, back... Okay, wrong button. Full wrong button. Yeah, there should be a car that spawns somewhere back here. Um... And I think it's to the left over there in the woods or something like that. Uh, I don't see one now, but yeah, I think there's like four spawn locations and this is one of them for your abandoned vehicles. So let you know, this is where it'll be. Uh, the other one is going to be down by the tow truck uh, place where we got our most recent abandoned car a couple episodes back. The other one's going to be at that house that's over by kind of that same area. Um, yep, yep. So that's one, two, three. And then there's another one that spawns. I can't, I don't actually know where. Anyway, anyway, let's get down there. I didn't see one up here. Uh, should we just go ahead and drive by the junkyard real quick and see if one spawns there? Or over by that uh, abandoned house, or not abandoned house, that house, I mean. Possibly, possibly. So the dirt road, uh, the abandoned house. Uh, let's just drive over there and, and see. Yeah, we're just going to take a look. I should pull up that map real quick and see where the fourth location is. Um, because I don't remember. Anyway. Easy. We don't want to lose this or any of the goods inside of there. Everything's holding really well, though. Uh, so I am happy about that. Okay, there's a guardrail there, by the way. I don't know if I've ever uh, noticed that. I wish some of the other spots had guardrails. Anyway. We're doing okay. We're doing okay. It's a little bit of a longer one. I know. I'm screwing about. Um, how about I just meet you over there? Okay, and then uh, here's the bottom of the hill. There's that lighthouse. And then this little road to the right, that's where we found our last abandoned car. Uh, we'll see if there's one there today. Okay, let's just slow it down. Uh, let's take a look. There's a shelving that we could get, but that's uh, right there is where the one would be. And then over here, uh, around this horn, this corn, this porn, no, this corner, uh, would be where the other one would be. Uh, so let's just pull up here real quick. It looks like everything's been holding pretty well in our trailer, by the way. Uh, but yeah, there should be this house right here. And yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Where's it at? Where's the hell's the house at? There it is. There it is. Oh, I almost fell into that ditch, by the way. Uh, yeah, I think up here would be the other location. Uh, let's just come up here real quick and see if there's a car up here. And supposedly they're supposed to spawn in uh, per one per game session. So we just checked three, unless of course we missed it uh, in the middle of that damn uh, that little off-road, the one by the garage where we went up through that little uh, off-road right. Unless of course we missed it uh, up in there. But anyway, and where was the fourth one? Um, you know what? Let me look and see exactly where that thing is at. Okay, okay. So we've this is the one down by the junkyard, the one that was that we got our last car from. This is the one by the house that we're at right now. Up here's the one by the uh, old garage, that dirt path that we came through, which is right here. I was looking on the, or right here actually, I was looking on the wrong side of the road, um, but I didn't see one there. So this is the other one that we need to find. We're coming out through right here right now. So we're just gonna make a left, come back up to where that track is. We're gonna make a left again. And then once we get to this big old junction, uh, we'd have to make a left. So let me see if we can get over there real quick. Okay, okay. So I think uh, this is that little squirrely road up there. If we zoom out real quick, we can see that squirrely ass road. And if we look at the map, this would be that uh, little junction. And I'm pretty sure this dirt road right here is going to be uh, where it was talking about. So uh, before we head through here, I am going to save this real quick uh, just in case I freaking die. I know I normally like to live with my consequences, but um, this is new territory and I got a big ass uh, trailer on the back of me here. Uh, so we're going to see if this Niv can pull this trailer all the way up through here. But yeah, it should be somewhere back up in here. Um, should we be zoomed out a little bit? Possibly, possibly. Uh, let's not hit that tree. Yeah, let's go ahead and change our view right away. Let's uh, see if we can come through here nice and smooth like. Uh, I'm not too sure exactly where I have to pull up that freaking picture again. I should have just left it up on my uh, second screen here, but uh, let's see. Let's see. Uh, it said something about up on top by a cliff. Let's go ahead and throw it down into second. Okay, easy, easy. Stay on the road, please. Stay on the road. Now, I wonder if this is the one where it freaking spawns most of the time. Okay, so here's uh, the little loop. It starts the loop, right? Uh, let's just go ahead and sit out real quick. Oh, hit the brake, hit the brake. We started coasting backwards. Okay, okay. Let me take a look at the map. Okay, so we want to basically go left. Okay, okay. Sit back down, fool. Sit back down. Throw back into first. Drop this. And yeah, let's take the left route. And then, uh, yeah, should be right up and around the corner here. Now, we did check all three locations so far, and this should be the fourth one. And there's the stupid house. Uh, that it was talking about. Okay, okay, so it should be right up here uh, Close to there. Is that a car? Can you see a car right there? Oh, dude, wait, is that a car? Oh, it is. Oh, check it out. Okay, so we found another abandoned car. Okay, okay Good to know good to know this many hours in the damn game and uh, I'm just learning still learning new stuff. So basically these cars spawn Every time the game is loaded, and it's going to be in one of the four locations. Um, dude, that's awesome. We have most of these parts, by the way. Uh, so awesome freaking possum. Let's claim it. And then let's just, let's just ship it. Uh, we could come up here and tow it, but we're just going to ship it to the old service center sign. We can't do it to the customer sign uh, because there's no space. So we have to pay the 500 bucks, get it shipped over there. And yes. Okay, fantastic. Let's see if there's anything in here. Oh, my God. Well, there sure in the hell is. There sure in the hell is. Um, we don't have no room for it, though, so we're not going to worry about it. Oh, my God. We are going to take this stuff, though, and uh, see if it gets stolen from the uh, shop. So if you don't know these things, if you leave them outside, they will disappear. Um, they're technically getting stolen because you're leaving them outside, right? Uh, but anyway, anyway, that's that. Um, let's just go ahead and head back to the new garage. And we're basically set, so... Okay, okay, first gear. And there we go. Okay, I guess uh, the only way to really get out of here... We're just going to follow this all the way around. 
Yeah, yeah, I've never been up here before. Uh, it's kind of nice. It's kind of nice. It'd be fun to race up here. Just kidding. No, it would. It would be. Uh, risky, but fun. Okay, this is quite the hill. We should be able to get it up it, up it with no problem, though. Uh, can't quite see where the road turns. There we go. There we go. Trailer's still on. That's the most important thing. Uh, let's go ahead and whip it around. Okay, okay. Uh, I think once we get out to the road, I'll just meet you guys back at the old uh, garage because this video is getting pretty lengthy and I still want to... Well, screw that freaking truck. Just kidding. I'm going to say I kind of want to get the truck fixed. Um, but I thought that's because I was going to have to use the truck. Uh, but yeah, I forgot we could just ship things by paying a hundred bucks. Anyway, anyway, uh, this is going swell enough though. Oh, a pretty steep hill. Uh, let's keep the foot on the brake a little bit. Yep, yep. Okay, okay. This is going good though. This is going excellent. Uh, hopefully we didn't miss our turn. And I'm not looping back around again. That would suck. Anyway, uh, this looks like a dead end. And so we have to pull it out through this way. Okay, throw it into first. Let's see if we can do this without detaching our stupid trailer. Because that is a thing. Trailers will detach. Okay. Nope, we got it. There we go. Fantastic. Check us out. Check us out. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Okay. Let's just wait until we get to the road. And uh, then we will go ahead and skip back to the main base. But this is going swell. Look, I'm holding the brake if I let go. Oh yeah, we'll get way too much speed. We're gonna shift it down a second though. Uh, I don't like those high RPMs like that. But this is an excellent area. I do dig it, I do dig it. Okay, where's it at? Okay, here we go, here we go. And we're gonna make a right. And yeah, here we are. Fantastic, back out to the main road. Uh, so yeah, I'll just meet you guys back at the old uh, whatever it's called, the freaking new garage. All right, all right, so we're back in town. We're back to the good old shop here. And uh, yeah, let's get pulled in and let's uh, get pulled in. And there's our uh, beautiful, oh Jesus, okay. I wonder if that was from the view or I hit something weird in the thing. Anyway, anyway, uh, yeah, there's both of our new cars. Let's go ahead and get this whipped around real quick. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Apparently that camera is still in uh, beta stage. Anyway, there we go, and let's kill it. Yep, turn it off, there we go. And uh, let's get out, what time is it? It is 13.30, let's just go ahead and sleep real quick. Okay, it's 9.30 a.m., there we go. So we got this butte over here, uh, which is awesome. We're gonna start working maybe on this one first, uh, simply because we have most of those parts over there. Um, but anyway, we also have this beauty over here as well. Uh, we're probably going to be turning this one into a wonderful uh, convertible. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, there we go. Okay, and then uh, let's go ahead and get this thing unloaded, lift it up. There we go. Let's grab the move tool. Just kidding. I think it's in the car. But you know what? Let me just get this all unloaded and set up real quick. We've been going long enough today. Okay, there we go. Finally got it all unloaded. Indeed. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look. Oh, yeah. And by the way, this is what I was talking about. Uh, you can stack your tools in here just like this. I had no freaking clue until uh, survival mode. Anyway, yeah, yeah. Uh, so let's go ahead and drop those. Anyway, let's get inside. Got all the tires lined up so we can start doing the work on this thing. Uh, but yeah, check it out. So this is like the little tire corner. Uh, that tire rack actually does work. Uh, pretty good. I'm happy about that. Uh, indeed, indeed. And then I put this rack over here with the welder, uh, the cutter, and put that all to kind of together. And then here's this uh, table that we bought. Uh, it does look nice. It all pretty much fits perfectly in there. Uh, it comes out just a little bit. Now, just like how that niv uh, attached, attaches to the side, uh, this does not do that, but that would be great if it did. Yes, indeed. A cork board that you could attach your tools to tools tool no tools two anyway anyway uh that's pretty much it i think so yeah yeah but i did want to check out something real quick so what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and throw on just a regular rim right and then we are going to see if uh, we're going to see if these tires fit oh they don't they don't they don't do it 
They don't, I tell you, uh, unless of course, see, it doesn't say what size it is, by the way. Oh, wait, maybe we have to do it on the ground. Let's see. Uh, it doesn't work. Nope, nope, none of these rims uh, work. Okay, well, that sucks. So that means, well, we wouldn't be able to put these tires on the, these rims. Uh, so we wouldn't be able to put it on the NIV that way. Uh, but we could also still try to see if we could add the dually hubs, uh, which are right here. Uh, we can see if we could actually add this uh, to, say, the NIV's uh, front end. Uh, should we try that real quick before we get out of here? Yeah, let's see if we could actually do that. Um, let me get this all hooked up and we'll see. Okay, okay, got it lifted up here. Let's pull off this tire and see. Actually, we need to pull off uh, the whole hub, so we're going to have to pull off this brake. Uh, let's grab that. Now, I did want to note for you guys, um, moving down here is a little bit uh, labor, in or not labor intensive, it's a little bit resource intensive on the old PC. Yes, the computer. Uh, hold on, let's get this off, let it fall off. Okay, there we go. Now let's see if this goes on. Oh my God, we could put the mud tires on here, you guys. Holy freaking crap. Okay, you know what, let's tighten this up. Yeah, yeah, let's tighten that up and we are going to actually try this real quick. Uh, let's see, we need to grab one of these rims. Yep, stick it on here and then throw this on. And then let's do this. And then let's grab the... Come on, get off there, you bastard. What are you doing? Okay, there we go. Now let's see. Now let's see if this goes on to the NIV. Oh my god, if we could put some mutters on here. Oh my god, oh my god, okay, okay. Uh, I think we're going to swap this puppy out uh, completely. Uh, let's get this all tightened up real quick here. Um, there's not a rotor. Uh, we will have to swap rotors and all that. But holy cow, it works. <laughs> Okay, uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and just swap this whole... Should we swap it now or should I wait? We'll wait until the next one. We'll wait until the next one. Uh, but hold on. Oh, yeah. What I was trying to say is when facing this way... So right now I'm getting about 50 frames per second. It drops down into the 40s, uh, 48, 46. Uh, this is with ultra graphics and good reflections, okay? Uh, if I turned it down, I'd probably get a little bit better. Let's actually see. Yeah, yeah, okay, I'm I'm at 60 now, uh, but my point is facing this way, I get little frames, but when I turn back around this way, um, I go back up to 60, no problem. So, uh, yeah, it is a little bit intensive. If you want to see what rig I have, uh, check the description down below. You can see my rig. Um, it's a, very, a fairly beefy one, uh, so if your PC is not the greatest, um, you might have a little bit of trouble uh, moving down here, especially with the town itself. The town itself seems what seems to be what really uh, causes some lag. I don't really get lag. Uh, it's still in the 45 and up uh, frame range. But anyway, I just want to let you guys know that uh, just in case you were curious on how the performance is by moving down here. It's a little bit uh, intensive. Um, but if you got the if you got the power, bro, it'll work. Anyway, let's go ahead and swap this out all real quick. Um, I know we've been going for quite some time now. No, you know what? We're going to wait. We're going to wait until the next video. Yeah, we'll wait till the next one uh, to do that. But anyway, that'll be it for this one, you guys. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, and we'll continue this all up in the next one. We'll finish uh, doing all that or we'll, we'll figure it out. Anyway, later on, guys. Later on. <laughs> all right we'll see you guys later adios everybody adios